It's two years since Pathy News flew over Farnborough. Today, the British aircraft industry is in the critical spotlight. Foreign orders have declined. Hence, upon our latest arrival, the Super VC-10 sent her hopes of a rising tide of prosperity. In the static display, as they call it at Farnborough, is everything the Society of British Aerospace Companies have to offer at home and abroad. The Hunter Mark 12 in naval use, and the Vulcan, one of the V-bombers in the forefront of Britain's long-range defence. For manned bombers, there is still much support. The BAC-221 was built for research into the general characteristics of the slender Delta Wing. Coming to things more familiar, the Trident, now in service with BEA. There's tremendous interest in the Super VC-10, said to be the last word in the second generation of jet airliners. A boost to the industry if the export orders come in. The Lightning Mark III. The Hawker Sidley P1127 is in the vertical takeoff field, which may have a big future. From Short Brothers and Harland, the Turbo Skyband. The Hawker Sidley Andover in production for Transport Command. Now for the most spectacular item at Farnham, the services demonstration of airborne assault. Displayed too is the SRN Hovercraft, a hybrid that isn't exactly airborne or earthbound. The helicopters take guns and jeeps into the attack. It's a combined operation, transport command, and helicopters contributed by the RAF, guns by the Commando Light Regiment Royal Artillery, while naval helicopters take in guns and marines. From a hovering helicopter, a controlled descent of 200 feet on a nylon rope. It all gives an insight into modern tactics. not the only spectacle. It's the turn of the Red Pelicans to steal the show with their jet prowess. They're the famous aerobatic team made up of ace instructors at the Central Flying School, always performing with the precision of machines. The Pelicans have given displays in many parts of the world, convincing demonstrations that in the sphere of flying, the Central School perform as brilliantly as it instructs. Another RAF team given aerobatic display, flying the Hawker Sidley Nat T Mark I. This team of five was formed only this year at number four flying training school, Anglesey.
teams now join forces. A quick look at some of the planes Britain offers the world. For the HS Small Jet 125, orders already top 3 million. The Trident looks like being popular with many foreign airlines. The VC-10, perhaps a world beater. The Hawker Sidley 748, a 58-seater which can operate from tropical and high-altitude airfields. Two Beagle aircraft show how very convenient and pleasant it must be to own a plane. Many big companies find it pays to fly executives independently of airlines. Once more, a jet provost. The Hadley Page Herald, a turboprop for fast intercity service and for the outback, say in Australia. The giant Belfast can fly loads of 80,000 pounds at 340 miles an hour. This display at Flandre is not only a superb show, it's a wonderful shop window. The industry hopes that the hundreds of foreign buyers will go back and persuade their companies to give orders. Every year, the aircraft industry becomes increasingly important. As far as Britain is concerned, may it once more become the money spinner it deserves to be.